It's green flag time. Let's get this show on the road. One, Madison Tall dominates and wins. Trey Wright wins the Indianapolis 200. Miles out nowhere. It's going to steal it. Right, it's going to be Mike Fink Jr. Number 38. Winnie Crouch is going to take the win here at Pocono. Side by side. It's going to be side by side. Going down. Welcome, aliens, to the land the Coca Cola sits on it. We are the NIRA. Welcome to the Phoenix Raceway in Avondale, Arizona, just outside of Phoenix, Arizona, for this. The fourth race of the Scott's Grand National Series, the Marriott Bonvoy 200. We're going to go around this mile track here in the Arizona desert for 47 laps. And at the end of those 47 laps, we will see either a two-time winner in this series of the first three winners. We had Kip Silver Point win at Daytona. We had at... Las Vegas, we had Nathan Buchanan win, and at Auto Club, we had Patrick Starr win. Will we see a repeat winner, or will we see another first-timer in these first four races? We're going to find out here in the final round of the West Coast Swing. Welcome up into the booth, this is Freedomator, and I am here to bring you the action today. Let's take a look at your starting lineup as we go trackside. And the engines have fired here at Phoenix Raceway. 42 will come to life. We'll do one pace lap around this track. And of course, using, using the new reconfiguration here at the Phoenix Raceway. This is turn one and two through here. The top 10 of this race leading us to the green is going to be Hannah McDowell. The 29 of Luke Rainey on the outside, then Benny Watson, Zachary Fitzwater, Avery Barnett, Clyde Shelton, Adam McDowell, B.B. Ruiz, Kirstine Clark, and Quentin Moore. The top 10 going to lead us down to the green flag here. Pace cars on the pit road as the field goes down the back stretch. And coming through the final turns. Ladies and gentlemen, it's green flag racing time. Let's get this show on the road. Absolute madness behind as Hannah McDowell is going to lead lap number one to watch the field diving down into the dogleg as they come around through turns one and two for the second time. Look at everyone piling in three and four wide behind. This could be trouble here as they get four wide on the straightaways here. Everyone makes it through so far up through the banked turns of three and four. Is still Hannah McDowell leading. Avery Barnett's going to move into the second position. Benny Watson back to third. Luke Rainey fourth. Adam McDowell officially in the top five. Looking down the straightaway, everyone's still staying clean, but a lot of wide racing going on. Inside lanes playing tough, especially through the dog like there. And oh my goodness, Quentin Moore has a problem. Dylan Wilson goes around Madison Toll, Justin Lightning, Daniel Bouchard, Matthew Silver, and a few other cars. Something happened with the 76 right in the middle of the field. He came to almost a complete stop, and the field piles up going through the dog leg. Side by side, back to the line to get the caution flag. Hannah McDowell has the advantage. Ahead of the 40 of Avery Barnett. 
And I believe everyone else made it through safe. It's Tony Jezjorski in the five. Damage to that card, Nathan Buchanan, Ben Crouch. Maybe there was a... There was, was there a follow-up incident? There was possibly another incident up ahead. I did not see Buchanan, Crouch, or Jezjorski back there with that group of cars going through the dogleg. We'll take a look at the replay. Either they were back there or they were of an, involved in an, a completely separate incident. The field coming down to the pit road. And McDowell all the way down to stall number one. And a few cars going to elect to stay out here. Most everyone just getting fuel only. Hannah McDowell is going to lead them off. Top four up here is Kirstein Clark, Rec Rex Ruiz, Juan Rodriguez, and last race's winner, Patrick Starr. With Hannah McDowell in the top five. Benny Watson, sixth. Avery Barnett, seventh. Adam McDowell, eighth. Looks like B.B. Ruiz and Luke Rainey are going to round out the top ten. Let's go back real quick and take a look at what happened to put us under this first caution. As they came around to start lap number four, watch Quentin Moore. Something breaks on that 76. He just slows in the field. Madison Tull runs into him. Oh, there's Nathan Buchanan getting a piece there. Tony Jezjorski sneaking through on the outside. I do not see Ben Crouch in that at all. So possibly there was an incident up ahead. Watching through turn one and two here, potentially something happened with Ben Crouch. He slows on the track. Buchanan has nowhere to go, runs right into the back of him. Jez Yorski runs into him, and also Brandon Yadal getting a piece in the one. Look at the cars behind, just able to miss Ben Crouch there. But a lot of cars in trouble here early on. Some able to go on, some will not. But the track is clear and we're good to go, so let's head to the restart. Here are the Marriott Bonvoy 200. Back with your live picture here at the Phoenix Raceway. Kirstein Clark with the lead. Rex Rue is second. Juan Rodriguez third. Patrick Starr fourth. Hannah McDowell fifth. The only cars in the lap down lane, Madison Toll, Dylan Wilson, and Quentin Moore. With the cars out of this race being Nathan Buchanan, Tony Jezorski, and Ben Crouch as a result of that first incident. Green flag getting ready to wave once again as they go through the Geico restart zone. We're racing again at Phoenix. Off into one. Rue is going to look to the inside. He'll get by. Meanwhile, behind... Quentin Moore creating some heavy traffic back here. Five wide up into the outside and hard. One car upside down. Eric Monaco, the 83. Dylan Wilson's in it again. Luke Rainey is in it. I believe that's the 33 of Thibodeau, the 10 of Carter Joey. Farley, Ethan Farley may have gotten a piece too. Logan Alexander. Clyde Shelton, the Rattlers in it. Luke Rainey. Daniel Bouchard again, and Eric Monaco, who went tumbling, coming off turn number two, right off the restart. Looks like Kip Silverpoint possibly may have gotten a piece of it also. The 42 Arthur Xavier, potentially. A little bit of damage to the left front of his car. Ethan Farley, watch as he goes by. A little bit of damage to the right front of his car. Jacob Thibodeau was involved. Is that Bouchard coming around? Yes, it is. Daniel Bouchard in the four, the Nashville Predators car. Heavy damage to that Biagi Bros Dodge. So the second caution comes out on lap 11. We'll go back and take a look at what happened to put us under this second yellow as they came through turn one and two, five wide. So we'll watch from up above here is see the lap traffic. Madison Toll, Quentin Moore holds up 
uh, Dylan Wilson. Moore in the middle of it. They'll go five wide. Logan Williams on the inside. And Quentin Moore up into Dylan Wilson. Luke Rainey on his side. Eric Monaco goes upside down. Brady Adal gets a piece again. The 49, Landon Smith Jr. involved. Total chaos on this track here early on. Looked like Alfredo Benel, the 25, was on the pit road. There he is in that black car with the red numbers on it. We'll take a look from another angle here. Which on the inside, there goes the 11, Noah McGalliard. And it looks like they just it just got too tight. And oh my goodness, what a hard hit for Monaco and everyone else. And the pot and getting sacked up on the outside. I believe everyone up there made it through pretty clean. The lone exception, probably the 42 of Arthur Xavier sustained a little bit of damage there. Well, the track is clear. We're good to go. So let's try it again here at Phoenix Raceway. One to go till we get the green flag once again here in the Marriott Bonvoy 200. It is Rex Ruiz leading. Kirsten Clark, Juan Rodriguez, Patrick Starr, and Hannah McDowell. Lap down lane there is Dylan Wilson, Quentin Moore, and Madison Tall. Each one lap down. Actually, Quentin Moore's two laps down. Daniel Bouchard's going to come around and join them. He is one lap down. And as a result of that incident, Arthur Xavier... Carter Joey and Eric Monaco join Nathan Buchanan, Tony Jezorski, and Ben Crouch behind the wall here early on at Phoenix. Pace cars in. We're going to get going once again. Lap cars slow on the inside. We'll keep an eye on them as we go green. Dylan Wilson, a slow takeoff. Quentin Moore, Madison Tull. Not very much quicker. But going through turn one, not going five wide this time. We're sticking to three, four. They'll, they're making it so far. Crazy down to the inside. Here comes Jeremy Baylor with a huge crossover in that James Finch number 28. On Christian Farkas and Audrey Baranowskis right in the middle of that. Oh, contact there, Audra Baranowskis, and I believe that was Justin Lightning getting together, going through the dog leg. Four wide. That's getting tied up high. Contact there. That's Bradley Ream in the two with a 64 of Vargas. Somehow we're making it through so far. Four wide. Davenport's right on the high side of that. Brady Yadal, Ethan Farley, Baranowskis once again. And how about Luke Rainey working his way back up through the traffic there? Back down to three wide. Everything staying reasonably calm now. Never mind. Here comes Davenport back down low. And a huge dive bomb up into... Who's that? Is that Jeremy Baylor? Yes, it was. Uh, Davenport didn't quite get there, but man, he got close. That's all back battling outside the top 30. You'd think they were battling for the win the way they're racing each other. Rex Ruiz continues to lead Kirsten Clark. Juan Rodriguez tries to get by the 39. Not able to just yet. Last race's winner, Patrick Starr, falls into the fourth position. Avery Barnett, fifth. Hannah McDowell falling back a little bit on the outside there. And how about three wide at the line? Drake King, B.B. Ruiz, and Adam McDowell there. All them going three wide at the start-finish line. Looks like... Ooh, here comes Fitzy on the inside. Zachary Fitzwater in the 38, down low. This is going to be for the 10th position. You know, Fitzy has not had a great start to the season. He is trying to turn his luck around. Moving into the 10th position at the line, he got it. And he's on the preferred low line, and he is going to get past. How about this? Bradley Keys on the inside will get a two for one special there on the inside of BB Ruiz and Adam McDowell. Still not quite clear of the 56 yet. The 90 Drew Tatum right there behind. The 22 Nick Sykes as well getting up into the mix. And Landon Smith Jr. right there ready to knock on the door. 
further up, we see side by side here. Avery Barnett going to the inside of Patrick Starr. Inside, inside lane. Ah, the outside lane. Star holds on. Haven't seen the outside lane work very much here early on. But saw it there as we see lap traffic ahead. Daniel Bouchard comes out and will come back down onto the pit road. Just trying to fix the damage on that car all they can. As he is now four laps down in the 36th position. Three wide here. B.B. Ruiz has the advantage there at the line ahead of Nick Sykes and Adam McDowell. Landon Smith Jr. in the Advil 49. We'll let him in on the inside. Like Ruiz might get that spot off turn number two. Approaching halfway here at Phoenix, we saw most of the cars come down during the first caution. Looked like they came down again under the last caution, so they might be good to the end here. Is Bouchard going to come down once again? Yes, he is. So these guys won't have to worry about him very long. What we have here is a great battle with uh, Benny Watson getting by Zachary Fitzwater, Noah McAlliard, Avery Barnett, Drake King, and Hannah McDowell all right here in this cluster. Fitzwater is going to try to get back to the inside. This is, if I'm not mistaken, for the ninth position on the grid right now. Actually, no, it's more like six. Sixth, actually. Benny Watson. He has the advantage at the line. Sixth place. Daniel Bouchard comes off the pit road. Look out for Fitzy. Fitzy trying to stay away from him. He knows his luck with lap traffic. They're staying clean now. I guess Bouchard's just not quite able to meet the minimum speed right now. They're just trying to do everything they can to correct the damage on that number four. But they fall a few more laps down. He's now seven laps down as we're now past halfway done here at Phoenix. Or how many more opportunities he's going to get before he gets parked. As we see side by side, that's Logan Williams going on the inside of Patrick Starr. LeBron racing number 32 into the fourth position here on lap number 27. Kirsten Clark, Juan Rodriguez going to go for a battle here for second. Rodriguez on the inside. Not quite going to get there off turn two. But pl plenty of side by side back here as this battle continues to rage on. For the sixth position. Actually, it's now for seventh, actually, as Fitzy starts to stretch away. Side by side starting to fade a little bit, but still plenty of it. It's Hannah McDowell trying to mount a charge on the inside. Your pole sitter. Drake King is trying to hold off today's pole sitter. And the number 14 of Hannah McDowell having a great run. Three wide behind Bradley Ream, Audra Baranowskis, and Matthew Silver. Three wide there. And Bradley Ream gets the position. That was for 20th. And again, you would think they're battling for the win the way some of these guys are racing. As Bouchard's going to come back down onto the pit road. He is now... Eight laps down, still in 36th. 18 laps to go. It is still Rex Ruse up front. Lap traffic here with Dylan Wilson. Juan Rodriguez falls into the second position. Side by side for third. Give it to Logan Williams. Christine Clark back to fourth. Patrick Starr in the fifth position. Well, not for long. Lap traffic held up Clark. But watch the outside, though. I think Clark's going to be able to hold on. Yes, she will. Or will she? Watch the dogleg here. 
Sars there are on the bottom. But not close enough to get to the inside. More lap traffic just ahead. Madison Tall in the 41. Rex Ruiz has plenty of room. He'll get by with ease. 1.39 second advantage over the McDonald's 35 of Juan Rodriguez. We now have 16 laps to go in this one. The gap growing a little bit. More lap traffic ahead. Quentin Moore and plenty of lap traffic actually if they wanted to have a chance to catch up to him. It's Quentin Moore, Clyde Shelton, Kip Silverpoint, Logan Alexander, and of course Daniel Bouchard. He's not going to come off quick enough though. The gap 1.53 seconds now. And if I'm not mistaken, I do believe everyone is good to the end now. So we'll see how this plays out as Rex Ruse is going to go to the inside of Quentin Moore. And he will clear him through turns three and four. But the gap shrunk by two tenths. And that's what these guys back here want to see. They want to get up there. Oh my goodness. Going up to the wall to try to make that pass there. Benny Watson on the inside of Noah McGallier, Drake King, Avery Barnett, and B.B. Rue is right in the mix of that also. Up ahead, Bradley Keyes going to the inside of the 14 of Hannah McDowell. That's for 7th place. Back here in the the, the the standings haven't updated so Drake King is actually listed in t he's actually 10th he's just listed outside the top 10 right now but when they come around it will be updated this battle back here in the pack I believe is for 9th place on the grid now it's for 10th as Watson stretches away in the PPC Racing number 15 car. Ahead, Kip Silverpoint. Look at how close Juan Rodriguez and Logan Williams have gotten. He did not get a good exit off turn four that time. Rex Ruiz didn't. Watch the inside here through turn one. We'll see where Juan Rodriguez can go. Not quite anywhere just yet. But Rex Ruiz did not get much of a jump through turn one and two that time. It is going to be really close here. We're coming around to ten to go this time. Two hands full. That is definitely less than... Oh, uh, it was less than a second, but not by much. But now Rodriguez, Williams, Starr... Should be able to focus and try and do what they can to get up there and go battle for this win. They've got plenty of time and plenty of space to work with. Rex Ruiz is just trying to be smooth. The gap stayed the same, 0.98 seconds. The way your top 10 looks right now, Rex Ruiz, Juan Rodriguez, Logan Williams, Patrick Starr, Zachary Fitzwater, Kirsten Clark, Bradley Keyes, Hannah McDowell, Benny Watson, and Drake King rounding out the top 10. There's the rest of your standings up there in the top left corner. Coming up on the slower traffic of Logan Alexander. This might hold up Ruiz a bit more. Was not able to get to the inside through turns 1 and 2. Down the back straight away. He'll have a little bit of a chance, but... Oh, he's not going to get there. And that's going to help the 35 out. It's .94 last time. .99. Well, Ruiz did pull away a little bit. Now he is by with seven laps to go. And if nobody needs to pit, I believe... Rex Ruiz is going to hold on and win this. Actually, here, Logan Williams coming down onto the pit road. 
damage on the right side of that car. Wonder if anybody else is going to come down this late. Daniel Bouchard coming around again, but go figure. Um, I don't believe anybody else came down, so we'll watch the 18, see what he does. Not going to come in. Interesting that Logan Williams would come down, though. He was up there battling with those guys for the for a top five position. One kind of wonder what happened to him. As we're still under the green flag here at Phoenix. Ruiz on the low line. Rodriguez following suit. Four laps to go this time. Patrick Starr comes down to the pit road. We'll see here. This is going to be a strategy call for sure. He comes down. He'll just get a splash of fuel and go. Four to go. They're slowing. Rodriguez slowing. Fitzy around the outside. 18 and 35. Come down to the pit road. Rex Ruiz Juan Rodriguez. And automatically you think, has someone been conserving enough fuel? Three laps to go. This is going to be a fuel mileage finish. Fitzy. Still going. He's going to try to bring it home. Kirstein Clark's going to come down to the pit road. Hmm. Only Daniel Bouchard's going to come down this time with Clark. Fitzy leads another lap. Two to go as Rex Ruiz and Juan Rodriguez come off. White flag going to come out this time for Zachary Fitzwater. Going for his first win in the Scots Grand National and his second win on Freedomator. One lap to go. Through turn one and two. Just trying to nurse it home. He's not going to come down. Bradley Keyes is going to get second. Like Noah McGalliard third. Hannah McDowell fourth. Benny Watson fifth, but the big story, the Aussie Fitzy has won at Phoenix in the Marriott Bonvoy 200. He holds on, the fuel holds up, and he wins in the Arizona desert. And the bad start to the season, a serviceable conclusion for, for race number four, and now has some momentum to build off of as we go to Pike's Peak in the next race. What a run for that Aikens Motorsports team. Good for Fitzy. Always cool to see Fitzy win. And he grabs another one here on Freedomator. His second he won in the Cabela's Cup Series at Talladega last season. And now nabs his first. Scott's Grand National Victory. Take a look at your final race standings here. Fitzwater wins with Keyes second, McGalliard third, McDowell fourth, Benny Watson fifth, Hannah McDowell that is in fourth, Benny Watson fifth, Drake King sixth, Avery Barnett seventh, Landon Smith Jr. a good eighth place, B.B. Rue is ninth, Drew Tatum rounds out the top ten. Great run for that Yates racing entry. We'll take a look at the uh, rest of your standings here. The cars that did not finish on the lead lap. Uh, Rex Ruiz, Logan Alexander, Kirstein Clark, Logan Williams, Kip Silverpoint, Alfredo Manila, Clyde Shelton, Brandy Adal, Dylan Wilson, Quentin Moore, Madison Toll, and Daniel Bouchard. who have actually finished uh, 19 laps now. And the cars unable to finish this race, period. Uh, I think Juan Rodriguez and Starr actually just came down the came down the pit road it should be listed one lap down uh, the car is unable to finish Arthur Xavier Carter Joey Eric Monaco Nathan Buchanan Tony Jesiorski 
and Ben Crouch as a result of incidents earlier. So that's going to wrap us up here at Phoenix. Hope everyone enjoyed it. We'll see y'all at race five at Pikes Peak. Until then, this is Freedomator. Y'all have a good one.